Hello there. So I know a few of you mentioned that you were interested in um, learning a little bit more about how I kind of use Canva or use a program is what I kind of told you I did um, to create backgrounds or wallpapers for my phone. And this is like one example that I did. So it was most recently um, 4th of July year. And so I took a picture of my kiddos from the 4th of July and I added a quote and then I just uploaded it and used it as a background on my phone. Um, on my main screen, I just have a couple apps up top and then I kind of have a couple on the side. So that's why I created the template as is so that the image and the quote wouldn't be blocked by my apps. Um, and the beauty of it is, is that you can customize it how, however you want for your home screen, um, for your lock screen, whatever the, whatever the case may be. So the way I do it is I, um, go to Canva. So it's just canva.com and you can go over. So I'm just going to take you back to the beginning so I can show you exactly how I got there. So you want to go to create a design and then I go to the social media category and I click on the Instagram story. So it's the 1080 by the 19, um, 20 pixels. And that's like about the size that is ideal because if you think about an Instagram story, it fills up the whole screen and the whole face of your phone. So um, that one is best. So click on the Instagram story. And then what you can do is you have a wide variety here of um, pre-made templates that make it super, super, super easy. So it even breaks it down for you like quote Instagram and you can click on all the quotes. And so if you really like the idea of a quote, um, you can do some without pictures, you can do some with pictures, um, you can use stock, photography and stock images. You can pull in your own personal photos, whatever the case may be, but it just makes it super easy. So say I want to do this one. I can use this photo right here. Um, say I want to just say spring has sprung because it's springtime and I can delete that element and then I can play around with it and I can, there, I have a background. Easy peasy, right? Um, I can do another one here, just delete that, and I'm gonna go back to here. Okay, so this is an example. They even have it broken down for you, like summer category, travel category. Um, it's so fun, it's so, so fun. So here's a fun one. Um, and so I could rename this, I could add photos, I can change colors. So let me go to photos over here. And let me drag in, this is just some um, stock photography actually. So let me go to my uploads and I'll show you again. I'll do a family photo, okay? And I'm gonna pull in a family photo. I wanna zoom in a little bit, double click and zoom, center. And then I wanna say family love. And let's see what I can do for color changing. I can change the background. So you might see that you can, when I click on an element, you can see that there's no colors that pop up here so that the element stays the way it is. Um, when I click on the background, this color wheel kind of pops up and so you can see that I'm able to choose some different options. So say I wanna pull in the color of my sweater or the color of my little one's pants, um, or it's around pink and then I can kind of darken it to kind of flow better. And that is the option that I want. So when you are done creating your design, whatever the case may be, you just hit download. You can download them all into one big zip file and have multiple selections, or you can download just the one. So I'm gonna download just the one. And the nice thing with Canva is you can get the app right on your phone. So you can do all this design work right on your phone. Um, I do have it on my phone and I do use it on my phone, but I find it way more user friendly to use on a desktop. Um, and then once you, <clears throat> excuse me, once you download it, you can then just attach it to an email and send it to yourself. Or you can, you know, put it on Google Photos, put it in the iCloud, and then just download it directly from your phone. Um, but so open it up and here is the exact file that I just created. Um, and so then, like I said, I can send it in an attachment to my phone, open it up on my phone, um, save it on my phone, and then I just hit add it to um, wallpaper on my phone. Super, super easy. And now I have a new fun wallpaper on my phone. So it's super easy to do. Um, you, you really can't go wrong in giving this a 
giving it a try because it's free thanks to Canva. They have all these awesome elements. So have at it. Again, it's Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com.